welcome back guys so we'll start with the actual coding of interface and we'll try to understand all the points which i've explained till now uh, this is the syntax of interface if you remember uh, as i said already so interface always when we design the interface the keyword should be interface and this is the variables of the interface so though i have not written here public static final but the access of this member is always public static final and we have unimplemented methods so method has no implementations now how do we create interface okay this is quite difficult from the class so if i if i'll show you in the eclipse to create the interface what you have to do that is you click click on the package go to the new and then here you have something called interface so click on interface and when you click on that you write b sorry you write b1 and click on finish right so when you write b1 and when you click on finish you can see that one interface will get created here and you can see that here you have keyword called interface now what happens here is when you have to write the method you can write white test one right and you can also write white test two that's what i was talking about these two method i have written so for now what is the access to this method the access of this method is default it looks like but it is not default okay why i am saying that it is not default because if i will go and if i'll create a normal class if you'll go to the new and then you create a class so i'll create b1 test so there is a class called b1 test class right this is not the interface so this is the class so here you can see that there is a class keyword now one class will implement another interface right it will not extend what it will do it will implements so you click on implements you can okay sorry yeah so control space bar implements and then you write b1 so what happens the moment you implement any interface and whatever interface unimplemented method has it will force you to write the implementations in your class now when you place mouse over here it will tell you add unimplemented methods right it is asking it is forcing you so click on add the moment you will click on add you can see that in your class two method will get two method will get overrided you can see that and what is the access guys by default it is a public that's what i was talking about so the moment you will extend the method access is by default public right why public the reason is uh, when you are creating the interface you might be accessing the interface from the uh, same package class from the different package class right so that is the reason they keep access is equal to public but here you try to understand by default the access is equal to public and this is overrided so why these annotations came to the picture overrided because you have a method which is available in the b1 right and you are implementing it so you are going to define your own implementations so that is the reason this override will come because you, you are over you are going to override the method implementations right same thing when you will create one more class instead of b1 test if you write a1 test and when you implements the same interface that a1 test can write their own implementations of these methods right so one interface can be implemented by the multiple classes and they can write their own implementations now come back now here to implement the interface we use keyword called implement this is very important point we don't use extends we use implement let's see that here what happens so you can see that in example 2 you have one uh, interface variable you have two method test 1 test 2 now there is a another class so you can see that here here what you have you have interface here what you have you have a class so when one class implements example 2 you can see that both the method will get overridden here access is equal to public access is equal to public which means by default the access of the interface method is public right interface does not contain any constructors 
does not contain so there is no constructor in the interface so what will happen people will ask you in interview like what will happen when you write constructor in the interface so if you look at here there is a interface right and forcefully i am writing one constructor here forcefully so what will happen you will get a compile time error java compiler will ask you like this is not possible please remove that so let me show you here if you look at this interface with the constructor see here i am getting that compile time error the moment you will write a constructor in the interface then and there you will get a compile time error this people can ask you in the interview now the interface cannot contain instant fields the only fields that can appear in the interface must be declared static and final okay so when you are writing a field a variable in the interface there should be always public static and final okay there should be always public static and final and you cannot create instance fields so let me show you with example 4 you will understand here what i am trying to say that with example you will understand better see here the moment you will write like this the moment you will write like this you will get a compile time you cannot write like this right because it is a interface member interface variable but if it is a class you can write that which we have already seen that in previous example in the class i was able to write int i here i cannot because the by default this guy is the final static by default so when any variable is the final right you need to declare it now error will go off from the i right then here the error is coming when you place mouse over there it will tell you see here just place mouse over here it will tell you the black the blank final fills example 4 may not be in sliced right so it is saying that boss please in slice if you want to use it if you do not in slice you will get a compile time so this is also not allowed people will ask you is it possible to create non final fields in the interface say that no compiler will give a compile time error come back an interface can extends multiple interface super example here that's what i was mentioning uh, before that so an interface can extend multiple interface please focus on this interface can extends multiple interface whereas a class will implement the interface if you look at before that what was happening a class this is the class class implements other uh, interface this is the class example 2 is the interface right example 2 is the interface here you are implementing it here you are implementing it whereas one interface can extend other interface right a interface can extend multiple interface which is perfectly fine in case of uh, interface so if you look at here example 5 in the interface it has it has one method void 5 example 6 is the interface which has one method void 6 now example 7 is the another interface this example 7 see here example 7 what it is doing that it is extending it it is extending example 5 and example 6 this guy right they are extending it extending it uh, which means here so they are able to extend more than one interface by using comma separated this was not possible in case of class if you remember when i was talking about inheritance uh, when i was trying to extend more than one class by other class I was getting compile time but in case of interface it is perfectly fine you can actually uh, extend more than one interface so why here the keyword is extend whereas in case of class is when implement the reason being is the interface 7 and the interface 5 is of same kind both are interface right so both are of same kind even example 6 again it is an interface right again it is a example 6 in the interface so if it is of same kind they will extend each other that was the reason when i say class class a b c all are of same kind it is a class right they will extend but when i say interface and class both are not same so class will implement here interface example 7 extends because they are of same type because even example 5 and 6 has only unimplemented methods members are public static final we cannot create object 
example 7 also it holds good the same thing so this guy will extend right now uh, in java 8 as i said you can write default and static methods that is perfectly fine in in case of java 8 you can write one default one static which i have already explained uh, in my above example okay as well as you can write one non implemented method so this is like two implemented methods one non implemented and again uh, this default uh, symbol is required when you are creating a method which is not static you need to write default otherwise you will get a compiled time when class implements interface when class implements interface right important line here which internally extends more than one interface what will happen you have a class okay class is actually implementing one interface but that interface internally extending some other interface in that case you have to write the implementations of all the interface method present in those interfaces right let's see that here what i'm trying to say that you have interface here example 5 it has one method void 5 you, again you have an, one more interface it has one method void 6 now there is an interface 7 which extends 5 comma 6 so here what will happen now there is one class so this is the class when class 7 implements example 7 which is nothing but this but this guy is in internally extending 5 and 6 so example 7 will acquire the properties of 5 and 6 which we have seen that in the inheritance right so interface 7 will have the member of 5 and 6 right so when this guy implements 7, this class just example 7, this guy has to write the implementations of the method available in the 6, the method available in the 5. So uh, in method example 5, we had method 5, example 6, we have method 6 and example 7, we don't have anything. So this guy has to write the implementations of method 5 and 6. If it will not do, it will get a compile time error. Let me show you in the eclipse. So let's say you have example 5 here. You have one unimplemented method. Example 6. Example 6 also you have one unimplemented. Now example 7. So these are all interface. Now this interface extends this, impl imp uh, this in, uh, another interface, right? What happens if I write implements? See, you will get a compile time. So one interface cannot implement, you will get a compile time. Why? Because why it cannot implement? The reason is this guy, example 7, is not going to write the implementations of the method present in 5 and 6. This guy is not going to write. This is not mandatory. So you cannot, you should always extend. But when you go to test example uh, 7, right, here what happens? The moment you will Im implement example 7 and let's say this implementation was not there, right? The moment you will implement 7, you will get a compile time. When you will place mouse over here, it will ask you, please add the unimplemented method, right? Let me expand this. Yeah. So you can see that please add the unimplemented methods. When you click on that, automatically 5 and 6 will come which is not even there in the example 7 which is not even there so from where it is coming it is coming from example 5 as well as example 6 right so this is the thing we need to understand when your class implements the interface which internally extends more than one interface you have to write the implementations of all the method available in those interfaces right i think i think you guys are clear now yeah now what is the interface real i mean real time example we will understand now so why interface came why, what is the need of first of all interface why can't we write only class and we can do the job right so this interface will help you to a great extent when you are working on the common functionality and which is consumed by a lot of module in the sense of just to your, just to make you understand assume that you have a vehicle vehicle is the interface so every vehicle has a gearing system 
they will have a change gear they have a speed up and they have apply brake so if you look at this three things is mandatory across no matter what vehicle you are going to purchase or what vehicle you are going to manufacture right so this three method is mandatory what you can do you can write this three method in the interface and whenever any car you are going to design any car jeep bus anything any vehicle this three thing is mandatory right without this you cannot design any vehicle there should be a gearing system there should be a speed and there should be a braking system so this i kept as a interface now i will ask my all car designer boss when you are going to design the car please implement this vehicle interface please implement the moment you will implement it will force you to write the implementations of gearing system speed up and apply brake right change gear speed up and apply brake so what happens here is here it is a speed and gear so change gear so what is the gear number then speed up what is the speed i'm just writing that speed is equal to a so and i have two global variable here a speed and gear if you look at i have a speed i have a gear so i'm um, gear i'm mapping to a whatever variable comes here a speed i'm mapping to a whatever variable comes here and then when you apply apply the brake what will happen your speed will decrease so speed is equal to a speed minus a when you are applying the brake and then there is a display method this display method again it's a normal which will display your speed and gear right now this is for uh, car class right when car class implements the car has to write implementations for this now there is a bike there is a bike bike also has to implement vehicle bike has their own gearing system it has it has their own speed it will not be the same what car has so again this guy can write their own implementations in his class bike class like change gear speed up and apply brake and then display right now come to the clips so look at here you have by class implements vehicle class first go to the vehicle class three method you have right so that whenever you will design any vehicle you need to implement this now you are going to design a car so when you are going to design a car you are making that please implement this vehicle so what will happen when they will implement they will not miss this functionality that is the benefit they will not miss this functionality they have to have write the implementations of these three methods similarly for bike also the moment they will implement they have to have write the implementations of these three methods right that is the benefit guys you need to understand now this is the display method now let's say you are going to test that right so this is your car object you are making the object of the car class and you are setting the change gear is equal to 3 a speed of 4 apply brake 1 and this is the bike we are calling that car dot display then you have a bike in bike you are setting the gear is equal to 2 a speed of 4 apply brake 1 and then bike dot display so what will happen the same interface same method but output will be different based on your car design based on your bike design that is the benefit so your method is not going to change guys right but what is changing here the implementations look at here so just let me change here and let me run that again look at the output this is the output right so your method is same but your output is different based on the implementations how you are writing that and that's where interface will help you right so where interface will help you two places when one look uh, one where you don't know the implementations the second is if you want the all developer to write the implementations when they are designing any module of common feature you can force this through the interface they have to have write they have to write the implement they have to implement the moment they will implement they have to write the implementations for this in the next uh, in the next video we will start with a new topic thank you guys thank you for watching this